My name is Peaches McGee, and you're watching the Artist Jean Bush channel. The redhead took a vacation, so I'm subbing for her today. And here in the Midwest, it's going to be a very hot day, so I wore a wig. I also got up at 4.30 and decided to get my stuff together, because it's going to be very hot, and I wanted an excuse to wear my new jacket. Yes. And I also wanted an excuse to wear the Frida Kahlo lipstick that I bought. Welcome guys, how are we doing today? Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. And guess what? So we're going to be reviewing the Hemi Gouache 24 set. But not only that, I decided to go ahead and paint one of my feminist icons and favorite artists of all time, Frida Kahlo. So I have a Frida Kahlo candle. She's always in the background if you'll notice her in the videos. And I have a Frida Kahlo beautiful makeup bag. As you can see, she is a very important woman and a very important artist for not only females, but she was kind of the first artist that talked about her chronic pain. I'm gonna show you an unboxing. I'm gonna show you the swatches. I'm gonna show you a time lapse with my brand new camera, Brino. And we're gonna have a little bit of a history lesson on Frida. So join me today. Hope you are ready for it. Buckle in, let's go. Move over, Hemi Gouache. Here comes the new and improved bigger sister, Hemi Gouache. <laughs> so I have not done a review for the Hemi Gouache 24 set. I did one for the 56 set and I did one for the 24 set with the 80 milliliters um, or I did a first impressions and then I switched out for the 56. So I do have the 18, I don't have the 24. And so the company sent this to me to review. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I like this pink color and we have a palette in here and this is uh, a three wells right here six here and then we have this nice mixing area here and it's just the one side oh we have brushes too if you saw my mia watercolor review um they did send two sets of Hemi brushes as well, but I do believe these might be different. I'm not real sure, we'll have to take a look at them. Okay, so we have 24 colors, and if this is going to be, well, let's just put it this way. If I don't like the arrangement of the colors, I'm going to rearrange them to make sense to me, if that makes sense. <laughs> All right, well, let's just go ahead and see what colors are in here and how they're arranged first. Okay, everybody, so this setup right here, this color story, the way that I have it arranged, makes so much more sense to me. And I feel like you should be able to just make up your own um, color scheme with these colors and not just have to go by how they're arranged. So anyways, long story short, I took the, the actual, there's a label on the back that shows where the colors are, what they are, and they're not actually in order anyways. So I'm going to have the color names. Now, I do remember some of these colors because I've seen them in other sets. So I know that this is Acid Rain right here. This is Prussian Blue and uh, Deep Red, all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and swatch these out. And I'm going to use the trusty brushes that come in here. We have a filbert brush that's number eight. We have a number six that is a flat brush. And then we have a round one that is a number four. And there's only one of them, I believe, that came from the other two sets that they sent me. If you saw my Mia watercolor video, uh, they sent these two sets too. So there's only one that I've seen that is a duplicate, which is, I believe, the round brush and number four. But this one looks actually bigger than that number four round brush. So it's safe to say that you could get these and actually add them to your arsenal along with the brushes that come in the set. And you'd have a wonderful uh, amount of brushes to use for your, your gouache and your watercolor. So what colors are in the 24 set that aren't in the 18 set? I'll tell you. You have these three wonderful pastel colors. We have purple rose, pale purple and sky blue, we have nude, we have yellow green, and we have cobalt blue. love to think and assume that you all know who Frida Kahlo is but I know some of you don't I'm sure there's somebody out there that doesn't and if you didn't I highly recommend that you find out who she is 
and check out some of the links in the description. But I'll give you a little bit of an overview. So she was a Mexican painter born in 1907 and her life was marked with illness and physical pain due to both having polio at a young age and surviving a bus accident when she was 18. And in this bus accident, there was an iron handrail that pierced through her pelvis. Now, because of this, she had lifelong chronic pain and many medical problems throughout her life. And unfortunately, this left her unable to have children and she desperately wanted a child. So this, paired with the emotional pain of having an unfaithful husband, made for a lot of her artwork to be incredibly vulnerable and personal. One thing that I absolutely love about her artwork is not only that vulnerability, but her bold use of colors. It is definitely something that always strikes me every time that I look at her artwork. But the most inspiring thing about her, despite having all of these tragedies, is that she was still a force to be reckoned with. And she still created artwork, even with her chronic pain. She painted even when she was bedridden, both on her surgical casts and on her specially made easel. I highly, highly recommend that you also check out the 1993 biopic, Frida. The cinematography is beautiful and actress Salma Hayek is amazing as Frida. I promise you won't be disappointed if you invest your time in figuring out who Frida was and you won't be disappointed in that movie, I don't think. As a side note, I just want to mention that my one gripe, which I'll just get out of the way, is a really common occurrence with gouache. And that is, it's very clear that this gouache has whitening agents in its formula. Okay, great. So what does that mean? It means that it can cause the lighter colors to dry darker and the darker colors to dry lighter. However, however, this was the case mostly with the lighter colors. They would dry a little bit darker. It's not really a deal breaker. And if you know what you're doing, you can work around it, but it's just a bit inconvenient. They've taken a wonderful thing and made it better because even though this is kind of the OG classic, this is like a new classic. So let's see, this this has seen better days, folks. Yeah, this has seen better days. Um, I really do still like the 18, but I feel like this is my new favorite because we've got some skin tones in here. And even though we had some deeper tones with these, and you could always, this is a wonderful mixing set, I just like the fact that this has some convenience colors. I just think that overall, if you pay a few more dollars, you're gonna get a bigger value for this. Of course, it's not going to be quite as compact as this, but let's be honest, this is heavy enough to where we can't really call this like compact, compact. But one big thing that I love so much is that you have this wonderful plastic palette, and it's a pretty sizable, plastic palette and it's got these little sections for mixing which that was one of the things I really didn't care for as much with the 18 set because you had you did have like two separate palettes but this one is white okay so whatever set you had it was the same color as the case so I like the fact that this is white and of course you can see that it stains but before this Whenever I was cleaning it the very last time, I let it soak in some bleach water overnight and it actually, it, it came out quite a bit. So there's that option, although I don't think I want to bleach it every time that I'm using it. But I do like the white palette a lot. Also love the fact that they include some brushes. So I feel like this is a more comprehensive set if you want to give it to a beginner or if you want to just add to your collection. I mean, I've got several Hemi gouache sets. Obviously, this one has taken a beating, but I do have, I grabbed this on Amazon for like new, I think for 10 bucks. So there's that. And then of course, you know, I have the wonderful 56 colors, love that so much. But if I were going to pick one to take with me, if I was going to go somewhere or if I just needed something that wasn't going to take as much space, I would use this one because even though it's not as small as the 18 set, there's more options here. Plus you have these wonderful brushes and you've got the palette. So there's, there's those bonuses there. And I feel like they're a big enough difference that it makes a, a good difference, a positive difference. 
I will note that you need to be careful with these brushes because it's cracked here. I don't, I tend not to leave my brushes in water, so maybe it was just the moisture getting in and cracking on the outside. I didn't have anything actually like pop off though and expose the wood. So that's good, but I wanted to make note of that. So the brushes are a round four brush, a flat six brush, and a filbert eight brush. Loved this filbert too, and I, I use this quite a bit too. I didn't use the round brushes often. I really don't find that I use round brushes as much with gouache except for really small brushes. Folks, I made a grave mistake, okay? I'm sitting here, I'm really proud of this thing. I'm looking at it, I'm like, yay, I finally painted Frida. And it actually turned out better than I thought it would. But then I realized something. I didn't paint in her mustache. And I kept looking at her face and I'm like, there's something, something's missing. You know? And then I realized right before I hit record that she is missing her mustache. And I am so sorry that I forgot her mustache, but we're gonna go ahead and paint it in because we can't have her without a mustache. I'm gonna go ahead and do that after recording. So right now on Amazon, Himi is actually running a promotion for this set, okay? And this is specifically for the US and then I'll have a UK marketplace discount. But right now, this particular set on the US marketplace is retailed at $29.99 and your code for 20% off is E4GI27GS. And that is good until August 24th of 2021 on the UK marketplace. We have a 20% off code for you as well across the pond. And your 20% off code is F-E-7-G-J-U-M-A. So I'll also be listing some links in the description box below for the Mia watercolors, which I did a review on. There is also a 20% discount for that. The 18 gouache set on both the UK and the US marketplace and the watercolor set of 36 colors on the US. So hopefully that doesn't confuse you, but everything will be in the description box below for 20% off discounts until August 24th of 2021. I think that if you already have the 18 set and you really don't feel you really need anything else, you know, as far as gouache is concerned right now, don't even bother with the set, but I would highly recommend it. If you love gouache and you want to add to your collection and maybe you're kind of running low on your 18 set, or maybe, maybe it's dried out to the point that you just don't really feel like it's um, good for repair and you can't salvage it. You have a lovely variety of colors overall, and I feel like this is a more well-rounded set for just a few dollars more. And special thank you to Himi for sending me this gouache. I really, really enjoy it, and I think Himi gouache is always going to be one of my favorites. So, what'd you think, guys? Did you have fun today? I hope that you did. And guess what? I am doing live streams on Sunday evenings now, I believe around seven o'clock, eight o'clock, Make sure you set the reminders, okay? I'm also doing an Amazon live stream every other Sunday. So this Sunday and then the Sunday after next Sunday. Don't worry, I will remind you and keep tabs on the community page for more. And also, if you want to, go ahead and send me your spooky stories for this Halloween. And as you can see, I'm already prepping for Halloween. And I hope to be able to do like a subscribers only scary stories. It can be anything. It doesn't have to be a ghost story necessarily. Also, every subscriber story is going to be anonymous unless you want to be credited. Just let me know. Go ahead and send me that story at southpawcreativearts at gmail.com or go ahead and go to the community tab on that post where it says spooky stories and leave your story below. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Click that notification bell. It helps the YouTube algorithm for you to see more of my content. And I love you guys. I will see you later. Keep creating and stay creative. Bye. And I'll also be listing in the box below in the description that... Oh my God, it's already hot. It's already hot. It's not even noon. I'm, do I'm doing... I'm also doing right now and don't don't panic don't panic i will remind you and keep tabs on the commute oh my god jane it's the wig it's making me hot oh my god and i'm also doing an amazon live at 3 p.m i will remind you don't worry and i will keep the t keep tab oh my god don't worry i will remind you and keep tabs on the video oh. Around me are familiar faces.
faces. Oh, girl, the wig came off. 